Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Brio webcam to look pristine. There's a few different things you have to do and I'm going to do this as quick as possible. So let's get right to it. So right from that website, you're going to want to download the app for your Brio and it's a Logitech camera app. So we're going to pull this thing up and there is our camera. So right off the bat, click on widescreen. We got our field of view, set it to how you want it. Most people want a nice wide view, so 90 is gonna work for most people's situations. And then that's it from there. Jump out of that. This is based on the fact we're using OBS, but it's gonna work under most programs. Let me just there we go so we see how it looks right now not too bad but there's a few tweaks that we can do to make this look a little bit better and just to give you an example I'm going to turn this on and off so you can see the way the lights are at this point not bad but you're going to want to go to the properties of your camera within OBS you make sure you want 60 frames a second because that's the goal of all of this, right? To have it nice and quick. 1920 uh, by 1080 is the resolution for that. You can't do 60 frames at 4K. So go to configure video. Now up here, this is pretty, these are the um, adjustments for, I believe it's a UVC driver for Windows. So it's for every webcam, it's gonna be the same. So this applies to other things as well too. But right in here, one of the things you want to do is understand things. So for instance, if we go to the default, the default, everything brightened up a little bit, but it's still, it, it just, the frame rate's not quite the same. And if we want, if it gets darker and lights are flashing and things, it's just not going to look the same. So if you have that on auto, it's bright, but looks weird. You take that off. We're going to adjust down a little bit. You go over into the video processing, and this is where the gain, typically the gain is sitting like that at zero. You want to adjust the gain. Too much gain gives you too much noise. So it's finding that nice balance between the gain and your exposure. The higher your exposure, though, the slower your frame rate gets. See what I mean? Find something nice. Uh, you may also want to go in there and jack up your saturation a little bit, depending on, once again, what you're shooting and your lighting. Uh, play with your sharpness, all that kind of fun stuff. But that's basically it. Hit apply, hit OK, jump out of there, and um, everything's looking pretty good. So let's do that little startup again. So you might think it doesn't look too much different, but trust me, it does make a difference. And if I had this all hooked up and running, I'd have it all lit up and adjust my light and stuff. Every situation is different, but that tells you at least how to control it. So that's it. Hopefully the video was informative. If you like it, please give it a like and share it to your friends because nowadays we all need to know how to set our webcams now that we're all online. Talk to you soon.